audition tips for dancers. How do you thrive in an audition situation? Hey guys, if you're new around here, my name is Hannah Martin. I'm really hoping that I'm in frame. If I'm honest, auditions are not my favorite things in the world, okay? The pressure of an audition has always been something that I wouldn't say is an environment that I absolutely love, but I've learned how to cope with the situation. So these are some of the tips that I found super helpful going into an audition situation, and I hope that you will find them helpful too. And yes, I do a bit of armography while I'm talking, so just bear with me. Tip number one, and perhaps the most important, learn the exercises. So in each combination, you need to make sure that you know it super well so you can perform it at your best. I know I sometimes find myself in an audition situation where I'm so worried about how do I look? How did I do the last exercise? What are the people at the front of the room thinking of me? Do they like me? Do they hate me? And then I realised I wasn't paying attention whatsoever to what the teacher was teaching and the music is starting, the combination is about to start and I have no idea what's going on. Does that sound familiar? Something I have tried to do a lot is make sure whenever the teacher is teaching the next combination to really stay focused on what he's doing and keep those unhelpful thoughts from your mind because there's really no point thinking, oh, what do you think they're thinking of me? Because that's just not a helpful thought. You can't control that. I always say in audition or competition situations, focus on the things that you can control. You can control how well you learn the combination and how much focus you show to the teacher. Those are two things that are very important in an audition situation. I'm not saying if you do get an exercise or combination wrong, you're not gonna have a good chance. I'm just saying you are gonna be able to show yourself at your best if you've learned the combination well. Tip number two, leotard choice. So whether you're going to a contemporary audition or a ballet audition, wearing a leotard or an outfit that really makes you feel confident and also makes you stand out, makes your lines look nice, can be a game changer. I know for me, I had to go through quite a few leotards before I found what really suited me. Back in the day when I was auditioning, strappy leotards were the way to go, but now I kind of like more long necklines for the top. Find what works for you, find what you feel good in. In a ballet school audition situation, I would opt for something a little less distracting. I want anything too crazy, which distracts from the purity of your line. I would opt for something that doesn't include too much lace. Again, this is just my personal opinion. Go for more camisole or something more plain. I used to always go for a block color, just one single color. My favorite audition that I always remember was this blue um, Vegas one. It was so simple. Find what works for you. Go leotard shopping, find something that makes you feel good, makes you feel confident, because that's also gonna help with the first step, which is learning the combination. If you're always distracted thinking about how you look, or do I really like this leotard? It's not gonna help. Picking a right leotard or a right outfit for your audition is gonna be key. Tip number three is watch yourself on the sides. But when other people are performing, what's your facial expression like? How are you holding your shoulders? Are you really engaged in the class? That can make such a big difference to the people watching at the front. They wanna see not only that you are great in your dancing, but also how you interact with others, how you're spatially aware. I remember in audition situations before, even the way that you treat the staff when you come in the door, being friendly, being nice. Even in classes now leading up to audition season, see how you're standing on the side when other people are going. Just check your facial expression in the mirror occasionally, just to make sure that you're pleasant on the sides, that you're showing your best self. I think that is a really good tip that my teachers gave me before I went into auditions. Obviously you wanna be yourself, don't change you. Just make sure you're putting the best version of you out there that you want to present. I think something else that really, really stands out in auditions is being confident. The more confident you are, the more stable you're gonna look in your exercises, whether you wobble or not, and the more artistic you're gonna be because you're gonna be more confident with your musicality. I know that confidence is quite a broad term, but the more confidence you can bring into an audition situation, the more you're gonna stand out. If you mouse away, you'll get lost in the crowd. I'm not talking about arrogance because that can also come across a little bit. In some auditions, maybe they're wanting a little bit of that fight, 
um, but I certainly know in classical auditions, just having that quiet confidence that you know what you're doing, you're calm, you're collected, showing that kind of stage presence, even within an audition situation. I know that even in the company, I always try and treat every ballet class like a performance. Every ballet class is a chance to explore your artistry and an audition should be no different. It's so easy to look to the left and look to the right and think, wow, all these people are incredible. Well, I remember when I was in audition situations, I would get so nervous. I would look at others and be like, oh my days, they're absolutely, like I can't even level up to them. I have no chance. And then later I reflect and I was like, wow, I really talked myself down in that situation. I really wasn't confident. I had something amazing to give too. Yes, it might not be the same as that other person, but I have something else, something different and something creative to bring to the table. So just be confident in what you are bringing to the audition. So really value yourself going into audition situation. Know the things that you're good at and don't let maybe the other people in the room intimidate you because obviously there's gonna be lots of talented people coming there, but you also have something incredible to give. So don't shy away from showing that ability. And number five, I am gonna be so cheesy, but I'm gonna say, enjoy yourself. I know in auditions, it's so difficult to enjoy it sometimes because you're so stressed out. My apprenticeship audition. Actually, no, my apprenticeship audition is one I really, really enjoyed. I think my apprenticeship audition for the Birmingham Royal Ballet was probably one of my favorite auditions I've ever done. So I remember walking into the audition and thinking, you know what? I don't even know if I've got any chance, but I'm just gonna show what I can do and hope for the best taking that pressure off myself, but I kind of just went into it. Let's just see what I can do. When you enjoy yourself, your best self is gonna come out. The people at the front of the room are gonna see that you're enjoying it, and that is gonna make the world a difference. It's gonna bring up your confidence levels. It's gonna make you feel great, and it's gonna make you look great as well. Really trying to find that joy from within. For me, it always comes from the music. Once the music plays, I can feel, I mean, if I get too nervous, it shuts off. So you really have to find something that calms your nerves. That The thing that you love about dance bring that out in an audition that's the time not to hide it away but to really focus on it to help you get through so guys i wish you the best of luck for your audition season i know it's a stressful time comment down below if you've got any more questions i can totally do a part two to this video because i know that auditions are not the easiest trust me there's also the whole thought of audition tapes um, i could do another video on that because that is a whole other subject can't say that that again was the funnest experience but there is a lot you can learn and i can tell you all the mistakes i made make sure if you're new around here to click the subscribe button to join part of our motivating community that would mean so much to me and it means i can keep doing these videos and hopefully giving you some help along your journeys and also just a little note at the end of this video don't give up the amount of no's you get to the amount of yeses unless you're lucky and you get like yeses from everywhere but the rejections you get they're tough but you just have to keep working until you get that open door and that opportunity will come if you continue to stay focused, stay positive and believe in yourself. So don't give up on yourself. Uh, I know it's tough sometimes. <laughs> Those are my audition tips. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you very soon in my next video. Remember, dream big and make it happen. Mwah.